Let's take a look at these two side by side, Leon Edwards and Colby Covington. When we look, the champ has the edge in the striking accuracy and overall wins. He's been doing better on a win streak, but Colby Covington, of course, has the edge in takedowns and significant strikes landed per minute. And with that said, we now welcome in the champ, Mr. Leon Edwards. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm curious what your confidence level is like right now, because if we're to believe social media, people are leaving your gym because you are not confident. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my confidence has always been skyrocket high, you know, so going to my second tire defense, I feel good. Um, I don't know what nobody else is talking about. Um, I, I'm in tip-top shape, ready to go. Well, listen, how do you feel about facing Cole? Because in many ways, he is kind of similar to Kamaru. I'm imagining, does that make your prep a little easier? Um, 100%. I think going back to back with Kamaru and then um, facing a guy like Cole Covington, it definitely helps, you know, like instead of going for like a striker to a wrestler, I think like it definitely helps, you know. So I think he's pretty similar for like a boxing wrestling kind of style, but probably a little bit, a little bit more um, output, I would say. So um, it's definitely been an interesting camp. I feel good. I'm in shape and I'm looking forward to it. Leon, do you feel like you're finally getting the respect that you deserve as a champion? Because there were still a few people out there saying, okay, there was some luck involved with that head kick, but then you went out there and you did it again. You got the win again. Do you feel like you're getting that respect now? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, that's, I'm, I'm the most wins in the division, right? It's like 11, I think, in a row. Um, we're not there to be the pound for num number one in the world twice. Um, now I'm going to go out there to, to take out Cobra Compton. So after, just keep racking them up. I don't really care too much about what people think or what they're saying. Just keep, they doubt me, I win. They doubt me, I win. And that's just my, that's been, been my story, right? So it is what it is. Well, don't sell yourself too short because that's actually 12 unbeaten in a row. It's an absolutely <laughs> incredible streak you've got there. Uh, talk to me about, you know, you've, you've got a fight week with Colby Covington coming up, and everybody knows what that yeah. means. I think people are expecting a uh, very spicy press conference, especially considering how many welterweights overall are on this card. How do you, what are your expectations for that? And do you have sort of a game plan coming into a fight week against Colby? Um, not really, not really. I think Colby came out and said it himself, right? He's playing the character, so it's easier to take his banter because you know he's only playing he's only playing a character and so it'd be hard to get under my skin i think there's, there's a lot more that's gonna happen um at the presser uh, between either kobe ian and other what weights more than me and kobe you know so let, let's see um how it plays out leon you mentioned after this fight possibly wanting to make a run at the 185 pound title there's a couple of people out there that have been upset with that comment what do you have to say to those people um, well, we're not there to be great, right? I've, like I said, I've been doubting my whole career. I, I've overcome the odds, become world champion uh, at World Weight. Um, the 12 fights in a row, one of the longest win streak in in World Weight history, you know. So why not go up there and and and, and be great? You know, I've I've already done it already at World Weight. So I'd love to go out there, ch challenge myself um, at middleweight, and then come back down to World Weight and and continue my reign. You know, you'd like to go up and and then come back down. So. Um, yeah, yeah. If you're at the helm at welterweight or not, looking at this card, there's obviously a number of other welterweights on it. Is there one fighter in particular on this card that you f see fighting for the weight to welterweight strap one day? Um, not really, not really. I've not really like studied too much into who's who's on the card and who's fine, you know. And I'm more focused on Cobra Compton. He's a, a a good fight. I've got my hands, you know. So I am focused completely on that. And whoever make a standout performance that night. Maybe they're next, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll see from there. Leon, when you look at sort of the, the span of your entire career, you, are, you have already beaten one of the greatest of all time in this division. What does this fight against Colby uh, mean in terms of your career? What would a win here mean for you? Um, I think it just cements my, my legacy, right? Um, I think Dana came out before and said, oh, if, if Kamara were the champion, Colby would be the champion, you know? So I feel like me going out there and taking out um, someone like Colby just keep adding to my story, you know, and um, that's that's it really. It's just another fight and another person in front of me. He's, he's, he's going to be my 13 win in a row, and that's just it. There's no ill will, Ill will towards him. Um, his skill set and what he, he does provide, um, he's, he's, he's decent in what, in what he does, but I just can't see what, what he does different that can stop me or beat me, you know? 
I actually wanted to ask you about that because when you're fighting somebody who hasn't been that active, you know, he could come out and be completely surprising and complete, be completely different. Um, would you have preferred maybe to face somebody who's been a little bit more active, you got maybe a little bit more fight footage of? Um, not really. I, I can't see how someone that's 36 years old, 35 years old, fought the same way for the last how many years now come out and be totally different. I just can't see that happening, you know. It's just that's never happened in history of fighting, and um, so let, let's see what, what it comes out and do. I think everyone knows what's coming out to do. It's coming out to heavy pressure, swing, swing boxing to shoot under you and um, grind you out, burn the clock down, and win, win that way, you know. And I think that everyone knows what he's coming to do, and I'm prepared for it. Nice. Well, we are very much looking forward to it. Of course, you'll be the last man to make the walk at UFC 296. So thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck, champ. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you so much, Leon. What a lovely gentleman, folks. Well, as a reminder, let's take a look at that card. It is pretty spectacular. Two title fights on that. Uh, besides Leon and Colby, of course, we are going to see Pantoja versus Royval. We've got um, Shavkat versus Wonderboy. Tony Ferguson versus Patty the Daddy. Did you guys see he's going to have yes. twins now? Pretty incredible. Also, uh, oh. former teammates clash when Luke for, uh, fights Machado Gary. So that is the main card there at UFC 296. It is going to be incredible.